Okay, good morning, YouTube. Uh, just going to make a quick uh, review of an app that I, I discovered last night. Um, if you look at some of my other videos, a lot of them are about watches and stuff like that. However, recently I've been um, I've been doing a few uh, app reviews here. In this particular video, um, I'm going to show you how to stream your uh, your media, so movies or, or, or uh, pictures or music. Mainly, I use it for movies from your NAS or your network attached storage drive. In my case, a Western Digital My Cloud. Okay, and I'll go ahead and show you that here, where I have these located tucked away in a closet, okay, so there you go, there's my router, of course, wireless router, uh, naturally, and then you have um, the Western Digital 4 terabyte My Cloud, and then you have another 4 terabyte My Book, which is actually connected to the cloud, so this one here, I actually, whenever I, you could make this so it's automatic, where it automatically do uh, backs up your primary, um, for me, I just find it easier, and uh, I get more peace of mind knowing that I'm actually, when I add files to this, I just go ahead and add files to this as well. Um, these are always on. They're always connected to the network. Um, and then what I use, before I got into uh, this whole uh, my cloud, before I got these, I went ahead and I had um, on my TV here, I have the Chromecast. And pri uh, prior to f uh, finding some of these Android apps, and the one I'm going to explain to you how it works, um, I actually was in the process of building an XBMC uh, home theater PC, okay? And uh, once I discovered that I could do this with my existing stuff, my network drives, and my Chromecast, um, I didn't, just didn't see the point in spending the money on an um, XBMC computer. Um, now, I know there's other options out there you can buy to do the same thing, but uh, this works for me very well. Um, you don't have to have a computer on, and these devices are always on and always ready to go. Now, they can be a little bit finicky at times. Um, like, for instance, I've been using, in my other video, I showed you how to do it with Bubble. Or I didn't really show you how to do it, but I explained to you how Bubble works. Bubble's another app that does basically the same thing, but it's a little bit finicky. And, and recently, last night, the reason I discovered this other app was because I was trying to uh, play movies like normal, and uh, for some reason or another, it just wasn't bringing the, uh, the Bubble uh, app up on my TV. And I read online that there might be some kind of issue with the uh, developer net, uh, the developer apps, uh, you know, like kind of this, I don't know uh, how to refer to it, but uh, Chromecast basically has had like this open kind of uh, plan where other developers can make apps that will work with the Chromecast. And last night, for whatever reason, uh, Bubble wouldn't work with uh, my Chromecast. And I, I thought maybe I had a bad Chromecast, but I tried the one downstairs and still the same problem. So what I did is I found this tool right here. This is going to be a very, very quick video. Um, it's called Localcast. And what you do, you go ahead and click that, and here you'll pull up. It, this one's a little bit user, more user-friendly than the um, than a Bubble. Um, and what you do is basically it'll, it'll automatically pull up your universal plug and play devices. In my case, I have my computer on here, and here's my drive. You go ahead and click it, and we're going to go for uh, videos, and we're going to go ahead and go to my folder, and we're going to go to the actual drive. Okay, I had both drives came up there. And then, of course, you have movies, and it's going to bring up a whole list of your movies that are on your network drive. These are the folders that I have on my network drive. So for today's purposes, we're just going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and connect it to the Chromecast so they have this nice little button down here, which is a little bit easier than the Chrome the, than the Bubble app. Go ahead and click that. It's going to bring up your available Chromecast. I'm going to go ahead and hit the better one, and you'll see on the TV here, it's going to switch into the local cast, uh, I guess, screen saver or whatever it is. And let's just go ahead and, and click a movie here. And once you click that movie, it's going to go ahead and tell that Chromecast where to find that on that network drive. And should load here in a second. Voila, there you go. So there's how you do it. You stream your basically all your uh, all your you know media, uh, movies and music uh, right to any TV in the house as long as you got a Chromecast and network attached storage. Um, you can do this with a server. I, I choose the MyClouds because the price point was really good and um, they were pretty easy to configure. Now, of course, you still have to have a computer. Let me go ahead and turn this off. And you go ahead and pause just like anything else. So you can pause it. And we're going to disconnect. So I'm going to exit app on the TV, and they're to go back to the standard uh, Chromecast uh, screensaver. And we're going to exit out of here. Now I have this. Now this is only available on Android, and unfortunately, you know, I'm recording this right now on a an Apple product. For whatever reason or another, there are no Apple products that I've been able to find that'll work the same way on an, on any of the uh, iOS devices. So 
uh, there's a real a real um, need there to go ahead and have an Android device. Maybe you're you are a, a diehard Apple user, and they make a great product. Don't get me wrong, I like the product, of course, but um, unfortunately, um, you, you just can't do the same thing with an iOS device. Um, and it's really nice to not have to have the computer on. Now I want to close with one more one more comment. Um, in order for you to add your you know your information to the drive, of course, you can't just have a network drive and expect to have your uh, your music and media on there. You do still have to have a computer to get the media onto that drive, okay? But once it's on there, there's no reason to have the computer on at all. So there's my video. Um, if you have any kind of questions, let me know. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know you can do that without having to uh, you know have an Xbox or all stuff. But basically, I mean, for the amount of money that I spent on the drives and the Chromecast, I mean, the Chromecast were on special for like twenty five dollars. And um, it's a great way to be able to use all your media throughout your entire home. Now, I have three TVs in my house. Unfortunately, I can't use the Chromecast on my office TV because um, it's an older TV and it doesn't have HDMI ports. So the TV just basically sits there on the wall. But eventually, I'll upgrade that and then I'll be able to use three Chromecasts throughout the house. Uh, but for my purposes, really just having two, one upstairs and downstairs works pretty darn fine. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you for watching. Take care.